You know, Sam, since one of the main conflicts in this film is really about who has the authority to, you know, protect us, uh, some people believe they're right, other people believe the other's wrong. I was curious what you think defines our heroes in the film. Well, Steve has this old-fashioned idea about what freedom is and what it means in terms of who we are as a nation and a people. Mm -hmm. There is a line that he's not willing to cross. Right. And Nick has evolved from that. I'm sure he had that ideal at one point when he was that other patriot. Mm -hmm. And over the years, he's developed this whole other thing where he's come into the thought that we don't just need to protect ourselves from the enemy without, but from the enemy within. So the guns are pointed inside as well as outside. And I was also curious sort of how Nick Fury feels when all of a sudden he realizes that there are things that he doesn't know and things about his own organization that he might not know. Well, that's surprise. First, you know, first there's surprise. You know, it's like, wait a minute, what is this and where is it coming from? he has to come into a place of calm so he can figure it out. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think the only way that he's going to come into that place of calm is by going back into that shadow world that he and Natasha inhabit that most people, you know, avoid. I don't know that there is a right or wrong in that, but I know it's the level of dedication that it takes to fight fire with fire because the bad guys don't have lines. Mm -hmm. So we have to have some good guys that don't have them too. Marvel, your universe.